bless the name of the Lord for his goodness and mercy upon our lives, for the wonderful things that the Lord is doing. To him alone be the glory. Everyone and each one of you is very welcome. We thank God for your lives. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercies. Children of God, let's start by thanking the Lord for the day since last night the lord watched over our lives watched over our families and now brought us all together unto his own glory in the precious name of jesus christ let's thank him thank him for life thank him for our children thank him for our homes in the name of jesus christ lord we give you glory we give you honor thank you and thank you my lord in the precious name of jesus christ we are grateful O lord we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful for our lives, we are grateful for our homes. We thank you and thank you for our children. We are grateful, my Lord. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Thank you for taking us out safely, taking us to our various jobs and bringing us home safely. In the name of Jesus, we are grateful, my Lord. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's also ask the Lord for forgiveness of sins in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Let's ask the Lord. We have sinned in many ways. Uh, we have sinned against people. We have sinned against God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sin will bound us will chain us. Just simply ask the Lord for forgiveness of sin. Forgive us, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. Forgive our sins. Forgive the sins of our lives. Forgive the sins of our children. Forgive the sins of our homes, O Lord, in the precious name of Jesus. Forgive us, my Savior. Forgive us. Forgive us. Cleanse us, my Lord, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive all our sins, all our iniquities. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and thank you. Our children, they have sinned in many ways. Lord, we are pleading the blood for forgiveness. Let your infinite mercy, my Lord, be released upon our lives and save us in the name of Jesus. Let not the enemy, especially in such a time like this where we come before you in prayers, that the enemy will not have anything to accuse us of. In the precious name of Jesus, cleanse us of all sins through thy blood. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, I believe we are already in the day 18th of our prayer and fasting. Uh, may the Lord continue strengthening us. We are going to first and foremost pray as usual for the people that are sick people that we know that are sick, the people we don't know that are diseased, we are praying for all of them. Uh, so get yourselves ready in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everlasting covenant keeping God. We thank you for that grace. We thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus, I give you glory and I give you honor, my Lord. We thank you and thank you for the lives of your souls in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy upon their lives. Have mercy upon their lives, O oh Lord. There are so many, many in our homes, many in our churches, hospitals. Father, we are bringing them all before you with all kinds of cases, all diseases, all sicknesses that they are going through. We are praying for all of them, especially the one, the people that we know, O oh Lord, in the precious name of Jesus. We're praying for all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for our daughter, Corinne, that is in the nursing home, my Lord. Remember her and attend to her as any other person that is admitted in the nursing home, my Lord, we use our daughter Corinne as a point of contact. As we pray for her, Lord, you may extend a hand to all facilities of nursing homes, all nursing homes, facilities 
not only in the city of Chicago, the continent of America, but the whole world. Wherever that these sick people are, Lord, that you may visit them. Without forgetting our daughter, Sister Teresa, our daughter, Sister Therese, our daughter, Sister Karin, and our brother Kofi, brother Kelvin, we're praying for all of them, brother Aset, brother Johnson, brother Kingsley, all the people that you know around you that are sick, mention their names one by one and ask the Lord, plead before the Lord for their healing. Pray for, for them, pray for them. Many that we don't know, they are in the hospitals. As we said, they are in nursing homes. They are also in rehabilitation centers. The rehab centers, it is God alone that knows what is going on. What about the hospices? Many have been declared just few days to live. We're praying for all of them. What is it that our God cannot do? Our God is a mighty God. He's a gracious God. And, you know, most importantly, he's a merciful God. No matter what sin that has been committed by any of these children, the Lord is faithful to forgive. He is merciful to forgive. We pray for your forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal them all. Heal your daughter, Corinne. Brain diseases, heart diseases, bone issues. My Lord, we are bringing them all before you. Let there be healing. Heal them, O oh Lord, and they shall be healed. May your hand of grace, your hand of power, your mighty hand, my Lord, attend to your children. Save their lives in the name of Jesus. Heal them. No matter what the condition and the situation is, it is only you that can turn conditions and situations around. You have the overall power. No one is more powerful than you are. You are the greater surgeon and the greater healer. Father, Lord, I thank to your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood speak on their behalf. Speak healing in the precious name of Jesus. Bring forth divine healing in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, my Lord, also for the children, the children that are sick. They are sick in many conditions, different conditions, different places, in different hospitals. We're praying for all of them. Remember them, O oh Lord. Remember them. Remember them and heal them in the name of Jesus. Without forgetting the parents of the sick, the parents of the children that are sick, as the parents of the grown-ups that are sick admitted in various hospitals and all healing facilities. Father, we pray for all of them. Some, it is not a physical sickness, but it may be emotional sickness. We pray for them, O oh Lord. Heal them. Heal them physically and heal them emotionally. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be with your people, O oh Lord. And do the good God. Spirit of the Lord, intervene in their lives. In the name of Jesus. All sicknesses all diseases in the precious name of Jesus. We also have many that are sick one way or another, but that they are not in hospital. Some of them don't even know that they are sick. And the enemy is using, you know, their negligence and, you know, their ignorance also against them. Somebody be, be, will be walking, walking, looking healthy, and the next thing we hear is the person is dead. Father, we are praying against sudden death in the name of Jesus. Through all kinds of sicknesses, let there be healing in the lives of your people. Some, they don't know that the, 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 the seed of disease, Father, it is in the body. I pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Whatever that the enemy had planted in the life of your children, be high blood pressure called the, the silent killer. Ah, hypertension. We pray, Lord, that your blood will regulate the blood of your children.
the heartbeat of your children in the name of Jesus. Do not give the opportunity. The enemy, by killing your people through stress, sicknesses, through emotional situations that are taking them to be hypertensive, we're praying for all of them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them and they shall be healed. Heal their sicknesses, heal their diseases. In the precious name of Jesus, let divine healing be released. Especially, there are so many are waiting for your touch in the hospitals in the name of Jesus. Father, remember them, heal them. Be it cancer. Lord, any cancer cell in the bodies of your children, the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus can work a great work, can bring forth divine healing. Remove that cancer cell in the name of Jesus. Many don't even know that they are cancerous. They have cancer cells in their bodies. We're praying for their healings in the name of Jesus. You are the God that does miracles. Father, release your miraculous hand upon their lives. Touch them. Many have been declared having cancer. And they are going through chemotherapies. We are praying for them. I pray it is not an easy situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that you may be with them. Physically, that they will be strengthened to go through this chemo. But what is it that you cannot do? When you decide to touch them miraculously, Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. If it is your will that they go through the chemo, Father, strengthen them and let it be taken away from their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, grant unto them your doctors, your own children that can attend to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because I know that you have called many on that assignment. They are also doctors, medical doctors. Sometimes it is your will for your children to go to the hospital for these doctors to take care of them. I pray that, Lord, whichever way that you choose to heal your children, let there be healing upon their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no matter what the case may be, be gracious to them, O oh Lord, and heal them. Corinne, we bring you before the Lord. Sister Teresa, we bring you before the Lord. Sister Therese, we bring you before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Sister Karen, we pray for emotional healing. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord strengthen you. On daily basis, may God comfort you. The comfort that is coming from the Holy Ghost is also called the comforter. Your spirit shall be at peace. Your life shall be at peace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord grant you that favor. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, our brother Kelvin. We are praying for you, brother Kelvin. May the Lord be with you. Such a moment like this, first of all, may the Lord bring forth divine healing upon your life. May the Lord comfort your heart. May the Lord be with you. Cancel all situation of confinement. Whichever way that there is a door for the Lord to open it, may the hand of the Lord, we will never cease to pray for you. Because we know that we will not give up. Because the Lord will never give up on you not on anyone else in the name of jesus may the lord come to your rescue in the precious name of jesus christ may the lord visit your family comfort your families in the name of jesus brother johnson we pray for you may the lord be with you may the lord heal you may the lord strengthen you may the heart be strengthened in the name of jesus we give god all the glory and honor our brother kofi also in ghana most of these people that we are praying for, they are not even in Chicago. We are praying for all of you. May the Lord visit you all. In the case, what they have diagnosed you with, may the Lord come to your rescue. May the Lord heal you, intervene in a very miraculous way. Our God is a miraculous God. And he's the God of signs and wonders. The Lord may work wonder in your life. May the Lord work a great wonder. May you see a sign that indeed this is the hand of the living God. It shall be your testimony 
to your encounter, your time of encounter with Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord have his way. Lord Jesus, have your way in the life of your son. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Savior. Corinne, hold on, for there is, there is hope. There is, there, is, there is healing on your way. In the precious name of Jesus, the Lord will strengthen you. You will stand up again. Your mind, your heart, everything is going to come back unto the Lord's glory. In the precious name of Jesus, I give you glory and I give you honor, Father, for the lives of your souls. In Jesus' name, let's say amen. Amen. Children of God, it is a great gift to be able to stand and pray for others. No matter how much problems you have, we thank God for your life that you are now, you know, initially you were praying for yourself, but now you have become a prayer intercessor. We thank God. A vessel in the hand of the Lord. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. Every prayer that you pray for others, the Lord is also taking care of your situation. Thank you, my Lord. So let's together pray for the people that are in bondage. One way or another, whatever that the enemy has done against the lives of the souls that are in bondage, they are locked in spiritual cages, spiritual prisons, and even physical prisons. We pray for them. Let the chains be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and start praying. Blessed be thy holy name, Father Almighty. We give you glory and we give you honor. For the grace upon the lives of your souls out there. So many are confounded. So many, many of them that are caged. They are caged in satanic holes. They are caged in satanic prisons. They are caged in spiritual prisons. And we pray for them. Let they be released in the name of Jesus. Let they be released in the name of Jesus. Let them be released. Release them from cages. Release them from the hold of the enemy. Release them from the holes in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that the enemy has done, wherever that they are locked and wherever they are locked in, I pray, Lord, for they are released in the mighty name of Jesus. Release them in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Save their lives, O oh Lord. Save their lives, my Lord. Save their lives. Save their lives. Save their lives. Save their lives. In the name of Jesus. Save their lives. In the precious name of Jesus. Save their lives. In the name of Jesus. Save their lives. In the name of Jesus. Save their lives. In the name of Jesus. Save their lives. Pull them and deliver them. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Every chain holding their lives break. Every rope holding their lives break. Every padlock holding their lives break. In the name of Jesus, whatever device that the enemy is using, Father, to tide their lives, let it break. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bandages, they are in all forms. Sometimes you might even be at the church and thinking that everything is fine. When, matter of fact, your life is locked one way or another. We are praying any situation where the enemy has you bound, where there is, there is any form of bandage upon your life. Let that power be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Any captivity, any form of captivity upon you, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lawful captivity as unlawful captivity. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free from the hold of the enemy. Be free from the hold of darkness. Be free from the power of the enemy. Be free from the chain of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, be released in the name of Jesus. Let that cage be broken over your life. The cage where the enemy had, ha, has you in captivity. Let the cage be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Iron cages break loose in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way. Do wonders in the lives of your children in the precious name of Jesus. You are the wonderful and mighty God. What an awesome God that we serve. Father, Lord of glory, have your way. Set your people free. Set, set them free, O oh Lord. They are, they, are, they are caged 
in many, many ways. As we said, even the lawful captive, meaning that whatever that they did that have allowed the enemy to come in, Father, we still pray for their freedom. Come in and save your children in the name of Jesus because we know you are already against Satan. He can never be right in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your souls. Pull them out of cages and save their lives, my Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. We bless the holy name of the living God for his goodness upon our lives. To him alone be the glory. We have a group of people that we have to pray for. It is the unsaved souls. Unsaved souls. We are praying for the souls that have not come to know our Lord Jesus Christ yet. Pray for them. Let the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ reach out to them. Pray for their salvation. Whatever power, whatever power keeping them in cages that they will not come to salvation knowledge, let that power be broken. Any blindness, any blindness upon their hearts, let it be removed. Upon their eyes also, let it be removed. Open their hearts that they may know you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of the Lord, work a great work. Work a great work in the lives of your children. Save their lives, O oh Lord. Bring them so that we will be able to baptize them. Help them as you forgive them in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, O oh Lord. 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 Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Everlasting covenant keeping God. Ever merciful God. Have mercy. Have mercy upon your souls. Have mercy upon your children. Save their lives. Whatever that the enemy is using, my Lord, break it and bring your children to yourself. We give you all the glory and all the honor for the lives of these souls. Thank you, Father. You are the awesome and the powerful God. You will redeem them. Holy Ghost, many are in darkness out there. Bring them to the marvelous light of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you for the special grace upon their lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let the saints of the Lord say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, my Lord. We give God glory and honor. Uh, one more time, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Uh, prayer, praying every day is a special grace. And we thank God because prayer changes all things. Prayer changes all things, all situations, all problems. Prayer changes everything. So we thank God for that. We, we welcome you one more time. And I said it before, we are still on our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today being the day 18th, uh, we are going through. And it is wonderful. In a few days, we'll be done with the 21 days. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. And we said the theme of our 21 days is attacking the enemy of your calling. Attacking the enemy of your calling. And all our prayer points are derived from the following scriptures. Isaiah 59, verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. And his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 5, it says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of evangelist, make full proof of your ministry or of thy ministry. Thank you, Lord. In Matthew 26 and the verses 41, Matthew 26 verse 41, it says, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. May the Lord strengthen your spirit and also your flesh. First Peter chapter 5 and the verses 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary... The devil, as a roaring lion, as a roaring lion, 
walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You will not be a prey. Your children shall not be a prey. The enemy will not have any door to open, any door opened to come into your house and devour anything in the name of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 16, 18, it says, Jesus talking, said, I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. The Lord was talking about the revelation that Peter received. The Lord said that you will live by revelation. Your fellowship with God will never go down. You will go in increase. Heaven shall be opened constantly upon your life. May the Lord constantly giving you, be giving you the instructions, guide you in anything that you are seeking to know unto his own glory. Let's thank the Lord for his promises and allowing us to come before him. Say, everlasting covenant keeping God, we thank you for the grace upon our lives. We thank you for the special hand that brought us together in the, this session of prayers. We are grateful, my Lord. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Thank you and thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen, 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 and amen. Thank you, Lord. Yesterday, we stopped on uh, prayer point number 97. So today, we carry forth on our prayer point number 98. That says, Holy Ghost, quicken me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, quicken me in the name of Jesus. This is such an, uh, a short prayer point. But it's a very powerful one because when you are, when the Holy Ghost quickens you, uh -huh, he said it is the Holy Ghost that quickened the mortal body of our Lord Jesus Christ and Christ rose again. Uh -huh. So you can see that when you are quickened by the Holy Ghost, anything that is dead in you, anything that is dead in you comes back to life. So it is not as, as easy or as simple as you think this prayer point is. It's a very powerful one. I need you to pray. May the Lord quicken your body. May the Lord quicken your soul. May the Lord quicken your spirit. May the Lord quicken your home. May the Lord quicken the Holy Ghost. Quicken your marriage. Any area of your life, let the act of the Holy Ghost be seen in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. Father Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, quicken me, Holy Ghost. Quicken my husband. Holy Ghost, quicken my husband. Holy Ghost, quicken my wife. Holy Ghost, quicken my children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Holy Ghost quicken our homes. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost quicken our marriages. In the precious name of Jesus, anything that the enemy has done against your life, the moment that the Holy Ghost comes in, it is not going to be the same because it, the quickening is like a shaking. In the name of Jesus Christ, every dead thing, Every hidden thing, whatever that the enemy has done against your life, Holy Ghost, quicken my body, quicken my soul, quicken my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, quicken my husband, quicken my wife, quicken my children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even quicken my finances, quicken my career, quicken. Let the Holy Ghost shake everything around you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything be shaken. He said that the Lord shall shake everything around. And the things that cannot remain, the things that cannot be shaken shall remain. Pray that prayer. Anything that is shaken in your life, let the Holy Ghost quicken it away. Let the Holy Ghost quicken it away. When it is shaken, it means that it is not firm. It is not standing. I pray that anything that the enemy has done in your life, that your life will not stand, that your finances will not stand, that your womb will not stand, that your marriage will not stand, your children will not stand. I pray for the quickening of the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost quicken your mortal body. Let the Holy Ghost quicken your life. Let the Holy Ghost quicken everything in your life. May the Lord quicken you. May the Lord quicken your life. Holy Ghost. Quicken, quicken, quicken. When the Holy Ghost is quicken, where there is a need of fire, 
fire will shake the, pra the place where there is a need for the fire to burn. The fire of the Holy Ghost will burn in that place. Where there is a need of the cage to be open, that cage shall be open. Where there is a need of destruction of wickedness, done hidden in your life, the Holy Ghost shall quicken it and it shall be destroyed in the precious name of Jesus. Holy Ghost of the Lord, quicken my life. Holy Ghost of the living God, quicken my life, quicken my home, quicken my children's life, quicken my husband's life, quicken my, my wife's life, quicken the church in the name of Jesus, quicken our ministries in the precious name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, quicken me, quicken me, quicken my ministry, quicken my life in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the Lord, blessed be thy holy name. Let there be a quickening power in my life. Let there be a quickening power in my marriage. Let there be a shaking power, Father, to shake everything around me. No matter how long things have been going on, I pray, Holy Ghost, let your visit be real in this situation. Quicken, quicken, quicken. Quicken me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you all the glory and I give you all the honor for the quickening of the power of the Holy Ghost that has been released in my life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Our God is a wonderful God. Our prayer point number 99, you are praying. You pray saying, Oh Lord, remove from me every root of irritation that keeps anger alive in me. Oh Lord, remove from me every root of irritation that keeps anger alive in me. You know, anger is a very destructive spirit. Yesterday we were talking about it. Anger will destroy your marriage. Anger will destroy your home. Anger will destroy relationships. Even your relationship, your fellowship with God, anger can destroy it. Anger can destroy so many and so much. Sometimes you see your husband and for one reason or another, as soon as you see him, you are already angry. You are praying that prayer because there is something that he is doing or she is doing your wife, that is irritating you. And the enemy is using that as a tool against you. It has to be removed because if it is not handled by the power of the Holy Ghost, it is going to be a problem. It will bring destruction. Anger is a serious sin. Anger will make you miss heaven, by the way. You may, will make you miss the presence of God in your life. So, open your mouth and start praying. Oh Lord, remove from me every root of irritation that keeps anger alive. So, irritation has become like the wood that keeps the fire burning. Every root of irritation, whatever that irritates you, let it be removed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, let it be removed. Let it be removed. Spirit of anger, be removed. Spirit of irritation, whatever that irritates you in your husband's life, let it be removed. Whatever that irritates you in your wife's life, in your children's life, in your colleagues, people go to job, they go to their secular jobs, and they are always angry within themselves because they are angry, you know, irritated by all kinds of stuff that are going on. At the end of the day, be careful because, you know, you might be fired in the name of Jesus Christ. And it is the work of the devil. Pray that prayer. Spirit that irritates you. Spirit that push you to be irritated. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit that is keeping alive anger in your life. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed. 
be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, be removed. In the name of Jesus, be removed. Anger, anger be removed. Because of anger, the Spirit of God cannot work. Because it says that say, where there is a strife, where there is strife, the Spirit of God cannot work. The Spirit of God cannot work in the contentious and unstriving environment. Pray that prayer, let anger be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus, let anger be removed out of your home. Satan is feasting in your life. He's feasting. He's having a feast in your life, in your home, because of anger. Every time you are angry and the enemy is using that as a tool, as a weapon against the house. Pray that prayer. Cancel the spirit of anger upon your life. Anything that is irritating you, anything that is bringing forth, or keeping that anger alive, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let it be burned in the name of Jesus. Be removed out of your life, out of your home, out of your marriage, out of your life, your children's life. Even in your ministry, anger destroys. Break that power in the precious name of Jesus Christ. What a wonderful and mighty God we serve. Everlasting covenant keeping God. Have your way, O oh Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In the precious name of Jesus, anger be removed, be removed, be removed. Anger can be the tool, the weapon that the enemy has and now holds you and tie, have you tied down. Break that power in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you, my Lord. Whatever that the enemy has hold of it to keep me in angry, being angry, keep, keep me in anger. And uh, I'm always angry. I pray, Lord, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. Let that power be removed in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Destroy it, O Lord, and it shall be forever destroyed. Thank you and thank you, Father. I give you all the glory and I give you all the honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. We need the peace of the Lord in our heart. You are praying this prayer, our prayer point number 100, 100. You're praying, saying, Holy Ghost, breathe on me now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, breathe on me now in the precious name of Jesus. Child of God, open your mouth and pray that prayer. May the Lord breathe on you. May the Lord breathe on you, especially all they that are sick. May the Holy Ghost breathe on you. Breathe, breathe the breath of healing in you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the precious name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, breathe on me. 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 Breathe on my life. Holy Ghost, breathe on my home. Holy Ghost, breathe on me. Breathe on my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, every worry or any worries in your life, Holy Ghost, breathe on me. Breathe on me, O Lord. The breath of God, the breath of peace, the breath of power in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe of me. Breathe on me, O Lord, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost of the Lord. Breathe on me, breathe on my home, breathe on my wife, breathe on my children in the precious name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, breathe on me. 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 In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, breathe on me. Breathe on me, O Holy Ghost. Breathe on me, O Holy Ghost. Breathe on me, O Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me. In my life, Holy Ghost, breathe in my life. In my ministry, Holy Ghost, breathe in my ministry. Upon my husband, Holy Ghost, breathe upon my husband. Upon my wife, Holy Ghost, breathe in my, my wife. Holy Ghost, breathe in my children. Holy Ghost, breathe, breathe on me, breathe on me. In the precious name of Jesus, may the Holy Ghost breathe in your home. Let the Holy Ghost breathe. Let the breath of Holy Ghost be released upon your home, upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, breathe in me. This is such an amazing. Holy Ghost, breathe, breathe in me. Breathe in Corinne. Corinne, our daughter Corinne. Holy Ghost, breathe in her in the name of Jesus. All the sick, Holy Ghost, breathe in them. Our daughter Corinne, Holy Ghost, breathe in her. Our daughter, Sister Teresa, Holy Ghost, breathe in her. Our daughter, Sister Therese, Holy Ghost, breathe in her. Our son, brother Asad, Holy Ghost, breathe in him. Our brother Kofi, Holy Ghost, breathe in him. Brother Kingsley, Holy Ghost, breathe in him. Brother Kelvin, Holy Ghost, breathe in him. Sister 
Sister Karen, Holy Ghost, breathe in her in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is sick, the people in the hospitals, the people in the nursing homes, the children in the hospitals, Lord, remember them. Father, breathe in them, breathe in them, breathe in them, breathe in them, oh Lord. Holy Ghost, breathe on them, breathe on them, breathe on them, breathe on them. All the sick, Holy Ghost, breathe on them. All the sick in our homes, breathe on them. All the sick in our churches, breathe on them. All the sick in the prayer camps, breathe on them. Breathe on them, O Lord. Holy Ghost, breathe on them. Breath of healing, breath of power, breath of grace, breath, my Lord. Breathe in them, breathe in them, breathe in them. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Many that are in bondage, many that are in bondage, whatever captivity that the enemy has done, O Lord. Holy Ghost, breathe, breathe in them. Breathe in them, breathe liberty, breathe the deliverance upon their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give you glory and I give you honor, my Lord. Thank you and thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Continue praying. You are praying, saying, I reject all thoughts that I will never change in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. I reject all thoughts that I will never change in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the, the devil speaking to you. Break that power over your life. Uh, you see yourself as having so much, you know, going through so much, and you, you, you keep, you're saying that your situation will never change because it's beyond. Ah, uh, that is the thought of the enemy. That is the enemy pushing that thought in you. Break that power. I reject all thought that I will never change in the name of Jesus. I reject. I reject. I reject all thought. I reject all imaginations that I will never change. That your husband will never change. Reject that thought. Reject that thought. Reject that thought. The husband, your children will never change. Anything that is speaking within you, that they will, the situation will never change. Reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. Reject it. The change, it is, it is God that will bring it forth. Reject it and have faith in God. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, your situation will change. Your situation is going to change. Your situation it will change. It will change. It will change by the power of God. It will change by the fire of God. It will change by the Holy Ghost. It will change. The situation will change. Not by your power. Not by your strength. But by the Spirit of God. By the Holy Ghost. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Your situation will change. Anyone that keeps speaking to your heart. That keeps speaking to you. Speaking to your mind. And even the situation that are clearly seen. That it will not change. It will change. I declare it will change god says he's the god that changes situations he's a god that changes everything he's a god that elevates he's the god that promotes he's the god that change he takes the nobodies he makes the somebodies he takes where there is no hope he brings forth hope the situation will change change your mind change your thought i reject that thought in the mighty name of jesus christ it is not over god says it is not over i pray for you the situation will change the child will be healed you will be you will be healed that situation will change it is not forever the enemy says that when you look at your child lying down lifelessly and it looks like she will never come out i pray that child will come out that child will come out the situation will change the healing will come the provision shall be seen in the name of jesus christ the lord jesus will come to the situation in the precious name of Jesus, don't give hope, for our God is that hope. And when the Lord has not given a final say, whatever that anyone says is not final. When the doctor says it's final, they are not God. It is God that says it is final when it is final. I pray for you. May you reject any thoughts in your heart, any thoughts in your mind, any thoughts that the enemy has put in your heart. Whatever even that the doctors have said, that to, to bring you to a position whereby you are going to give up. A child of God, may the Holy Ghost comfort you bringing you higher height in the precious name of jesus christ it will change it is changing the lord is working on you the lord is working on you and the proof is because we are praying for you prayer changes situations therefore your situation is surely going to change prayer changes situation and we are praying so your situation can never remain the same the thoughts that you have must be removed all these thoughts must be removed in the precious name of jesus your situation is changing 
The angels are at work. The Holy Ghost is at work. The heavens is at work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reject all negative thought. Reject all negative thought. It will change. It will change. The situation will change. I reject all thoughts that I will never change. You will change. Your husband will change. Your children will change. Your life will change. The situation will change. Your womb shall be open. Your marriage shall work. In the name of Jesus, you will see your children. You will be healed. Your finances will break through. The Lord will open that door. The job is coming. Your situation is not final. This situation is not your conclusion. Your conclusion is from the Lord. And our God is a good God. He has wonderful plans. He has great plans for your life. Continue with the Lord. Continue having faith. Continue having hope. The Lord is with you. In the precious name of Jesus. I reject all thoughts that I will never change. I reject all thoughts that the situation will never change. I reject all thoughts that the situation will never change. Be rejected. I reject you. Devil, I reject your voice. Demons, I reject your voices. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I rebuke you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Continue praying. Our prayer point 102 saying, Holy Ghost, fill me that I might bring forth healing power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fill me that I might bring forth healing power in the name of Jesus. May the Lord use you. May you become a vessel. Any sickness in you, may the Holy Ghost fill you. When the Holy Ghost fills you, you are going to bring forth healing power. It will start from within you. It will start from yourself. It will be projected to your children, to your home, to your wife, to your husband, and extended to so many that are out there in the precious name of Jesus. Pray for that great gift of the Lord. Holy Ghost filled me. Holy Ghost filled me. Filled me that I might have that healing power in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost filled me. Fill my ministry. Fill my life that I might bring forth healing power. Healing power. Filled me with that healing power. It's a great gift in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost filled me with the healing gift. Filled me with the healing power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Filled my children. Filled my home. In mighty name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to be, uh, you know, this prayer, when you are praying, you think that this feeling of the Holy Ghost is something that is reserved for very peculiar people. No, you are a child of God. And the Holy Ghost is given to you. It is, it is, it, he is your inheritance from the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the Holy Ghost filling you will bring you to a higher height. You, you also can pray for somebody and the healing will come forth. Healing, you will speak simply a word of comfort and somebody's heart is going to be healed. Someone who is going through emotional situation is going to receive healing. The Lord might even use you to even heal real sicknesses and diseases. Pray that prayer with fervent. You, you know, Holy Ghost, filled me, filled me, Holy Ghost, filled me. Holy Ghost, filled me, filled my heart, filled my life. Holy Ghost, filled me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, filled me. Holy Ghost, filled me. Holy Ghost, filled me. That I might bring forth healing power. Holy Ghost, filled me. That I might bring forth healing power. Holy Ghost, filled me. That I might bring forth healing power. My life might bring forth healing power. My ministry might bring forth healing power. I will not be a vessel, empty vessel, oh Lord. I will be a vessel in your mighty hand. When I speak, my Lord, heaven shall speak. When I decrease, heaven shall decree. When I bind, heaven shall bound. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. In the precious name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, filled me. Filled me, filled me, filled me. Filled me in every power. Power, power, healing power. Filled me. That I may bring forth healing power. In the precious name of Jesus. Heal, filled your children also that are out there. Hospitalized in all kinds of situations. Holy Ghost, fill them. Fill, fill Corinne. Fill Corinne, Holy Ghost. In that nursing home, fill her. Fill her, oh Lord. That she may bring forth healing power. Healing power will quicken her body. F f f healing power will quicken her weakness. And the body shall be healed. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. 
Holy Ghost, we are bringing Corinne before you. Holy Ghost, we are bringing Corinne before you. Holy Ghost, Sister Teresa, Sister Teresa, before you. Holy Ghost, quicken that body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sister Teresa, before you. Holy Ghost, quicken, 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 quicken. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, I'm bringing Sister Karen. Sister Karen, before you. Holy Ghost, fill her, fill her, fill her, fill her. In the precious name of Jesus. Remember the husband, Brother Kelvin, in the precious name of Jesus. Brother Kelvin, wherever you are, may the Lord arrest you. May the Holy Ghost fill you. In the name of Jesus, and quicken your body. And bring forth healing power. Let the healing power of the Holy Ghost come upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord comfort you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord make you st strong in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Lord. Brother Kofi, may the Holy Ghost fill you. Be, 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 be healed by the filling of the Holy Ghost that brings forth healing power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus. Receive that healing power in the name of Jesus. Brother Johnson, Brother Asset, all of you, may the Holy Ghost fill you. May the Holy Ghost fill you children of God, whatever that you are going through, whatever that is in your body, whatever that have gone wrong with your organs, be filled with the Holy Ghost. That will bring forth the healing power. Let that organ receive the healing power. The healing power of God. Let it come. Let it come within you. Whatever that is dead, whatever that the doctor says, whatever that is not bringing forth, they said nothing is wrong, but yet you are not receiving, you are not seeing the result. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. May the Holy Ghost fill you. May the Holy Ghost fill you. Bring forth in the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Hidden sicknesses. Open sicknesses. Whatever that is blocking. Whatever that the doctors are not seeing. Let the filling of the Holy Ghost bring forth that power in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I give you glory and I give you honor, Lord. Thank you and thank you for the special grace, my Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Pray that prayer. This prayer here says, Oh Lord, produce in me the power of self-control and gentleness. Oh Lord, produce in me the power of self-control and gentleness. Gentleness. Be gentle. The spirit of gentleness to come upon you. Self-control and gentleness. Self-control and gentleness. Self-control and gentleness. Self-control and gentleness. Lord, produce in me the power of self-control. The power of self-control. The Bible says that we should have that spirit. The spirit of self-control. Produce in me. Release in me the power of self-control and gentleness. You are, you, your, your, your spirit becomes gentle. You are humble. Gentle, gentle. When your husband is, is angry, you are gentle. The gentle spirit knows how to deal with, with an angry husband. The gentle spirit knows how to deal with an angry wife, a nagging wife. In the name of Jesus Christ. Self-control. Self-control is not everything that you will be out of yourself. Yourself is controlled. It's a spiritual thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's another form of anger. But this one here, it is, you know, you are burning from within. And the enemy can really destroy you that way. It will affect your life. It will affect your health. Self-control. May the Lord produce that power in you. The power of self-control. The power of self-control. The power of self-control. The power of self-control. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Produce in my family. The power of self-control and gentleness. Holy Ghost, produce in my husband the power of self-control and gentleness. Holy Ghost, produce in my wife the power of self-control and gentleness. In the name of Jesus. 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Produce, 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 produce. Produce in me. Produce in my life. Produce in your children. Produce in my home. Produce the power of self-control. Let it be a spirit upon our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everlasting covenant keeping God, we are grateful, O Lord. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Our God is so good to us. Children of God, could you believe 
that we are praying our last prayer point in this theme attacking the enemy of your calling uh -huh. that prayer point the last one is oh lord i thank you for promoting me uh -huh. this is something that the lord has done out of 104 prayer points that you have prayed this is only going to bring forth promotion so you have to thank god for promoting you open your mouth and pray that prayer say oh lord i am grateful i am grateful i am grateful for promoting me i am grateful for promoting my life i am grateful for promoting my ministry i am grateful for promoting my home i am grateful lord indeed it's a promotion i am grateful for promoting me i am great grateful for promoting my children i am grateful for promoting me job wise health wise every area holy ghost i am grateful 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 for promoting me i am grateful for promoting me i am grateful for promoting me in the name of jesus holy ghost i am grateful for promoting me in the name of jesus holy ghost i am grateful for promoting me in the name of jesus holy ghost i am grateful for promoting me i am grateful 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 for promoting me holy ghost i am grateful holy ghost i am grateful holy ghost i am grateful i am grateful for promoting me i am grateful for promoting my home i am grateful for promoting my life i am grateful for promoting my children holy ghost i am grateful holy ghost i am grateful holy ghost i am grateful i am grateful for the promotion the promotion that has come upon the church the promotion that have come upon our ministries the promotion that have come upon they that are sick the people that we have prayed for that we keep praying for holy ghost we thank you for their promotion that you have healed them we are grateful oh lord we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor thank you father in jesus name we pray let's say amen amen start by thanking the lord for the prayers of tonight thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord in the precious name of jesus christ say lord i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i am grateful lord i am grateful oh lord i am grateful oh lord i am grateful oh lord I thank you for the healing grace. I thank you for the healing power. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for taking me through this prayer theme, attacking the enemy of your calling. Father, you have, you have attacked the enemy of my life. You have attacked the witches. You have attacked the wizard. You have attacked the powers of darkness that has been fighting my life. Thank you and thank you, Holy Ghost. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, I am grateful. 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 I am grateful, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I am grateful. I thank you for the promotion. I thank you for the promotion. In my life, upon my children's life, upon the people that we pray for, we thank you. We thank you and thank you, my Lord. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Children of God, raise your hands and let me pray for you. Everlasting covenant keeping God. Indeed, you are God that keeps covenant. The covenant blood that speaks for us, Lord, it is for all your children. And I am bringing all of them before you. Have mercy and cancel wickedness upon their lives. Save them out, out of the hand of the proud. In the name of Jesus Christ. The weapons of the proud shall not prosper. The wicked father shall not prevail in the precious name. Whatever that they have done hidden against the lives of your souls, let it be opened and be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deception, my Lord, must be cancelled and we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We come against their powers. We come against their forces. We come against their darkness. Whatever that has been orchestrated in that darkness against the lives of your souls, Father, we destroy it by thy light. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you and thank you, my Lord. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. Watch over their, 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 their lives. Many are going to sleep as others are going to wake. Father, be with all of them. Be mighty in their lives. Release your angels, my Lord, to guide them. Keep them. Watch over their homes. Let the Holy Ghost fire be burning 
in their rooftops. Let the enemy see the no-go areas. Your children's homes are no-go areas to the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire be burning constantly in their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep them in thy power. Thank you and thank you, Father. I give you glory and honor as you cancel any premature death upon their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. We celebrate they that have their birthdays today. It is you and you alone that have given them extra year. We want to say thank you. Thank you for the life of our daughter, Mr. Kilichi. We thank you for what you have done in her life. We give you all the glory and all the honor. It is you that have made it possible for her to have another year. I pray it comes with a package because you are God that gifts. You will be giving her the birthday gift in the precious name of Jesus Christ. You kept her alive to this day, to see this day because you have something very special, my Lord, for the day. Let it be released upon her life in the name of Jesus Christ. As everyone else, my Lord, that is having the birthday today. We thank God for your lives. We give God glory and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you, my Lord, for your children's life. Thank you, Father. Tonight, as many are going to sleep, Father, I pray for your dreams. It is your will to bring forth dreams. You speak to them in dreams. You speak to them in trance. You speak to them in night visions. I pray, my Lord, speak to your people. Instruct them. Guide them. Show them that which they need to know. In the name of Jesus Christ, reveal yourself to them as you reveal the secret things that they may be able to pray about them, to see the powers, my Lord, happening in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we serve a great kingdom. We serve a greater God. We said a powerful God, almighty and all omniscient God, all omnipotent Jesus. We thank you and thank you for that what you have done in our lives. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you for the life of your souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. Children of God, God richly bless you. We thank God for your life. Continue. We are still on our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Tomorrow we are going to start a new theme. Tomorrow's theme is very, very wonderful. It's about our marriages and all that it is very very great we thank god for god seeing us through this prayer theme that we have been through it is wonderful tomorrow by god's grace tomorrow is going to be wednesday we come on the platform at the same time from 8 p.m to 9 p.m chicago central time and uh your prayer request send your prayer request you can go to the site uh, faith victory ministries dot org org and uh, go there faith victory ministries dot org and then you go to the menu prayer and then you select prayer request uh -huh. and then you can submit your prayer request so go to faith victory ministries dot org and right away you will see the menu called prayer you click on that and you can submit your prayer request. If you are not doing it from the church website, you can also simply send email through your phone or whatever. You can simply send your email to prayer request, prayer request at faithvictoryministries.org. Prayer request at faithvictoryministries.org. That O-R-G. May the Lord bless you. We give God all the glory and all the honor. May the Lord keep you strong. By God's grace, tomorrow we shall be together at the same time, 8 p.m. May the Lord keep you. Have a wonderful night. God bless you.